Welcome back. We're Hello. here to make a decision. Yeah, we didn't do anything while we were gone. Mm -mm. Um, so we still haven't made a decision God at all. Damn thing. I'm angry at boobs. You're angry at boobs? You're angry at boobs? That's what she called her. Okay, so you are against Yuri and that's it. Well, no, no, I, I, I'm... Personally, if I was Shango, I would be in the Oh God Help Me. <laughs> okay. That's understandable. So, yes. so we've got oh, one Oh God Help Me. I, I, my vote is still, I think, for Yuri. Just, just academically. Which means that it's up to you to break the tie. I mean, I played. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Play Jesse, the game. Do you want to play rock paper scissors? All motherfuckers gotta hash for this who, shit. Where we go? You have to make a decision at yeah, some point about yeah. making a decision. <laughs> Just go with Yuri. Okay. I don't, I, I don't really care. non confrontational Okay, let's do it. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Wait, that's ready. not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. You're... Eh? <laughs> you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting their feelings into it and becoming something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I. Uh, I, 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 I am sorry. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and she just told her how you felt. And if you just told her how you felt, <laughs> it wouldn't have been happened in the first place. There's a mic stand in my way. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should, too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody's taking her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Ah! Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Siori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do just that. It'll spare me from having to look at all of your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem in her hand and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. A look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit adjacent in the adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted that way. You probably hate me now. No, I hi and Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? Handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Shango. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So... Hey, what thing did Natsuki say? Hyphen, hyphen, exclamation point. Um, nothing about my boo. <laughs> no boob talk was mentioned. You need to be saying the Unicode of <laughs> Jesus. Well, never mind that. I I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y y y y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all fear feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. Oh, I'm back now. <laughs> it was all right. Well, mostly, except for the fist fight. <laughs> Shango, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. 
And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. Oh, man, we're friends. <laughs> so your poem will turn out even better. Ellipses. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. But look, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Because even though I learned about poetry, I still just want to get the dick wet. <laughs> I nod to myself with newfound determination. Jango! <laughs> Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> hee, kill them. Siori beams at me. She's here for beams? Beam! Beam! Siori beam! Make a beam! It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. That night. <laughs> Nobody can see you making that head motion on the stream, Jesse. This is an audio only show. Describe what I am doing. He's taking his pinky finger and inserting it into his other hand. Pinky finger? His pinky finger. Index finger. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. He looked uh, this will be the first time I've seen him fight like that. I promised them both wonderful people. My throat hurts. <laughs> you made you this know, choice you yourself. You, you, you made this choice for me. <laughs> you were literally allowed to make these guys sound like whatever you wanted. Jesse, you, you made open. one a falsetto and one a deep voice <laughs> instead of just using your normal talking voice. No, I don't hate that. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. You. You know Shango. It's nice that I get to spend a lot of time with you in the club. And, you know, dancing. Yes. Uns, uns. <laughs> Up the club. Seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think that everyone really likes you too. That's... Eehee. Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. Until the ritual. It looks like Sayori <laughs> hasn't caught something. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? I'm gonna fuck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the booby. I said oh, to her myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue. <laughs> okay. You're fucking nailing this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, bitches, time. Home time. Are we going for Sayori again? We can, no, let, we let's, can make a hard right. The darkest poem. Just the darkest? Yes. Okay, so sure. Why, why the fuck not? Frightening. Contamination, uh, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Or, or gotta, tragedy would have been. No, we need to keep a consistent... Incongruent. Thing. Incongruent. Yep. Um, disoriented. Or, or wait. Agonizing. Agonizing. Yeah. Um, um, incapable? Broken. Broken. Wrath. Oh, really? That was not who I was Rath? expecting. Uh, well, I think you're on it. Suicide? I, mean, I think it's gotta be. Well, that, yeah, I think it's suicide. Um. Uh. Out? Anxiety, I think. Yeah. Um. Misery. Un unending. Unending or misery? I mean, we just said anxiety, so I feel like anxiety All unending right. is the way yeah. to go, right? We actually can make a real set? <laughs> misfortune. Misfortune. Misfortune? Mm hmm. Uh, wow, that sadness. keeps surprising me. What the hell did she like? Well, we just talked to Monica, remember? She likes sad and happy things. Yeah, but I, that word seemed big enough that it should Well, right, but there's one person who likes big words and, like, dark and horror, and there's one that likes super cutesy, and there's one that likes in the middle. Sad, sadness. Sadness? Well, that's gonna be... Yeah. yeah. We just talked about <laughs> sadness and happiness, Jesse! After image. I'm gonna say... Well, I'm, uh... <laughs> it's after, after image or philosophy? I say after this. Okay, after image. It's the, the hard right. <laughs> um, let's say melancholy. All right. Let's say explode. explode. Yeah, yeah. Let's say unstable. All right, yeah, fine. You guys are a little back and forth on this one here. <laughs> unstable. Let's say bouncy. <laughs> Mostly just, just toss a Natsuki one in there. <laughs> yeah, just, just, for just for fun. Um, no, I don't think so. I, th I want to say existence. Heaven said existence. Yeah. Oh, you're actually going for one of the girls. I'm just going Oh, is that not what we were trying to do? I am Jesse's just making horrible noises. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> uh, entropy. Yeah, entropy then. 
Okay, yeah, I mean, that's gonna be Yuri. Um. Always have to go with Doki Doki, though. Doki Doki? Sure. That's the name of the game. Um. Uh. Fickle? Or sure. anger? Fickle. We yuri that poem. Oh, I thought, I thought that was the goal, so that's what I was trying to I do. Just yeah, wanted... I feel like you've got a thing here, Justin. I wanted the <laughs> darkest <laughs> poem. Yeah, right. Okay. Another day passes, and it's time for club meeting already. Got a little more comfortable here over the last couple of days, and in club room news, we'll see and greet me. Anytime. Jesse doesn't play Hi, Pokemon Shango. Go. He <laughs> greets us. I have a real-life wife, and she is texting me. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm still not used to you being in the club is all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always a simple thing to you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> I am the devourer. Sorry. <laughs> you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, say, all right? Is that is that okay to do? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Uh... Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So cat. either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry! And so that only leaves one option. I give up. Don't make me wait. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Hey! Didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ha ha! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. I can't leave back. She's <laughs> <laughs> just totally confuzzled. Yuri! Tell Shango to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that. Just pickpocket it. Kind of like you got me involved yesterday, you bit. I mean... <laughs> Besides, you should only buy what you can reasonably afford. It's responsibly afford. Whatever. Because they're very <laughs> Japanese. <at it. laughs> right. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is far enough for retribution. Ellipsy. Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. <laughs> I like to imagine that just her powering down. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. And then turn bright red and pull your hair. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun sight of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. <laughs> the revolution! <laughs> um, Retribution. Okay, good. <laughs> that! <laughs> Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Until the ritual. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. She already knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me! But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh <laughs> eh. Wow. Wait, wow! Whoa. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. What was? Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. The Ari glances around. Is this a miracle? <laughs> Is it because I paid my restitution? <laughs> Retribution? Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I was just going to give it to you. 
but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though, aha. Uh-huh. I could magically teleport cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice of you. The cat has rolled down my <laughs> I'm so happy. He's just having a good time, Justin. He's having a good time. I feel weird things happening to my back. Sayori <laughs> hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. You've got a problem with your wrapper. Sayori rapidly tears food. open the wrapper and takes me by. <laughs> So, so good! So good! Sayori suddenly clasped her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> I did. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours is really good too, Natsuki. I mean, it looks really it. good, but that's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> she is the time fooder. Jeez. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. Yeah. Sierra gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. I am not I'm enjoying watching Jesse have a conversation <laughs> with himself. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, oh, jeez. This got a little erotic. <laughs> I get it, I get it. There you go. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a big bite out of Natsuki's cookie. That's just mad spirited. Hey. Did you seriously just do that? Ooh. Wait. <laughs> You're having a tough time with this. <laughs> Mouth full, Sayori trots away safely. Yuri and I laugh as well. just a seagull? It's <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> a seagull. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monika, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monika isn't in the club room. And neither is Monika. Yes. Oh, good. Where's Monika, anyway? <laughs> good. Question. It will be logged for further analysis. <laughs> <laughs> have you have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me! Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That is a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after so someone to do today. <laughs> wow. Possibly. <laughs> See. This is a dating sim. Yeah, and you think it's not going to be the main character? We'd be involved in that. I assume they're all promiscuous as hell. You don't think she... She has a... See? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. I don't know, combined. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah. Oh, that's you. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong-willed. A boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. (laughs) That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monika. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You decided it was your alibi for the murder. <laughs> <laughs> you should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. How about I go wrong for that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's sort of like involved in the robot ever since I started being a robot. <laughs> Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool! I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, fuck you! I mean, I won't let you down, Shango. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, 
I didn't mean to pressure you or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. Okay, I see. Given that I, I, I determined she's talking about murder, that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Piano just means murdering. <laughs> I've been practicing a lot recently, and I'm ready to show you. In that case, <laughs> we're best of luck. Thanks, Tilda. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. There was the magical floating cookie. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Well, she just unhinges her jaw. Yuri is back to her boob, and Natsuki <laughs> disappeared <laughs> into the closet. Just one move, though, not yep. the other. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Ellipses. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. Something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It is a very engaging and relatable story. For is humans. that so? <laughs> What's it about, anyway? Well, um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. You're not a fan of this sort of thing, Shango. No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a new, strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then, suddenly, when you thought you were related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Oh. I'm, I'm just rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. So how about in the next episode, we talk more about the portrait of Markov? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Sure. We'll find out what it's really about, which I think is the twist of the story. <laughs> Maybe. We'll find out. I'm still looking for it, Brandon. I'm going to find it. One of these days. <laughs> One day. I, I think at this point, they've each got their own separate murder cults. And this <laughs> this is about how we fuck a whole cult of murders. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I think it's completely no, unrelated. Separate cults. Yeah, they each have their own cult, so we have to pick which 
which cult no. we align with. Well, I mean, like, they, they each murder for their own reasons, and unbeknownst to each other, they've all formed a club of murderers. <laughs> and at the end of the final day, which is going to be, like, day four, because there's just so many murders. <laughs> we're going to find out that us five are the last people left in school. And then it's going to be kind of like Battle Royale. Makes sense. Or the Hunger Games for murderers. We'll find out. On the next on episode. On the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.